Be ready. And Russ, those records go back to 1880, and it is said that if you are younger than 30 years of age, you have never experienced a year where it has been cooler than the year prior to that. The majority of the warming has been happening since 1980, and now the Earth is one and a half degrees warmer than it was 100 years ago. Certainly some startling news coming out of NASA and the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration today. Highs today reflecting some of this warmth, 64 in Tulsa, 67 at Stillwater. It was a little cooler on the Arkansas side of the border, 59 at Bentonville, 59 at Joplin. 16 degrees above average was today's high. 48 is our average high, 27 our average low. We were at average this morning and then the temperatures took off. We have clear skies tonight, Interstate 44 dry up and down, just some slower traffic perhaps going back to Oklahoma City after the Garth concert tonight. 49 degrees south winds at 13 miles an hour, the dew point at 29, so the air is relatively dry. The dew, uh, temperatures because of the south winds will only drop into the upper 30s tonight. 42 in Veneta right now, 39 though at Muskogee, so some areas already seeing the 30s across the region. There's tomorrow's cold front, it's out in the Rockies. There's a little bit of rain across south and North Dakota, but no rain as this front moves in. Just some cloud cover that we'll see here overnight and through the first part of tomorrow. Then high pressure builds in behind that. And as the high pressure system is building in behind it, the winds will increase and we should have a, a windy late afternoon. Winds will gust up close to 25 miles an hour from about Tulsa westward out toward Ponca City. Eastern Oklahoma will likely see some winds about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but the strongest winds coming in behind the front with the dry nature of the air and the dry nature of the cold front, some grass fire concerns for tomorrow afternoon. But the highs by Sunday, despite a cold front coming through, really not impacted a whole lot. Uh, computer data spits out about 61, but we know because the winds are coming out over the Rockies and sinking that we can add about five or six degrees to this. And so we'll likely be around 65 or 66 again on Sunday. So a nice warm up, but rainfall really lacking. We miss out on the rainfall tomorrow. We just don't have a southerly wind to increase the humidity around here. So notice that as we head through the date next Sunday, January 25th, one one hundredth of an inch of precipitation that could be a little bit of light snow next Thursday or Friday. And that is it. Here's the detailed forecast for tomorrow in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. Cold night, 40 degrees down around 36 or 37. So a chilly start tomorrow already hitting 60 by noon as the cold front gets closer to us. 66 the high tomorrow. I added some uh, some temperatures to that made it up from 63 to 66. So a little more warmth, but winds gusting out of the northwest at 25 miles an hour. And then tomorrow evening they'll relax as the temperature drops to 46. 58 in Bartlesville for the high tomorrow, 60 in McAllister, 60 at Tahlequah, 65 the high tomorrow in Oak Mulgee. 65 on Sunday, 68 Monday with a morning low near 40. Yeah, it gets a little colder on Tuesday, 53. Everything's relative though. Uh, last week, 53 would have seemed pretty warm. 50 on Wednesday and a 20% chance for that little bit of light precipitation on Thursday. The storm system mainly misses us to the south. Unless it takes a more northward turn, we should just get a glancing blow with just some light, light precipitation and a high temperature around 44 degrees. And we've talked a little bit about this week. You started the week. You were in Disney World. I was right? in Florida, yeah, where it was 80 degrees on Tuesday. Yeah. So I tried to bring back some of that warmth. Bring some Florida <laughs> type weather here. <laughs> exactly. Mid-60s for the weekend. We'll take it. That's yeah. nice. All right, let's check in with Caden for sports.